and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something slightly different and um, I'm actually just going to be talking about my experience with a product and um, which is the DIY dip dye from Bleach London and the Violet Skies um, hair dye from Bleach London if you didn't guess from the title. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because when I was about to use these products I googled them or YouTube them and there were no reviews or anything like that so I thought I'd do it just so that people um, with naturally blonde hair like I have would sort of know the results. So as you can see, I've been through the whole process of DIY, dip dyeing and then colouring and this is the um, finished result. Not that overwhelming. Um, you can sort of tell there's something going on but um, not quite what I was looking for. Um, so I just thought I'd share what I did um, and one, to see if I did something wrong um, and then also for anyone out there with natural blonde hair you can sort of see the results that you're likely to get. So I went through the whole bleaching process, I left the bleach on for 45 minutes at the end of my hair, I bleached it to about here, um, but as you can see there's like no, um, no obvious sort of bleaching marks which is good, um, you do get a blending lotion in here to make sure that doesn't happen so I think if it was with darker hair or coloured hair it would look really um, quite effective, um, but on my naturally blonde hair it really didn't do anything. Um, which I wasn't really expecting it to because it is really bright um, but what I was expecting to happen was when I used the dye which was the Violet Skies um, hair colour dye super cool colour, that's what it is it is super cool and it's colour um, when I used that over the bleached bit I thought that it would take really well and be what it, oh the top just came off and be what it, what it said it was on the packet which is this colour and it's not um, so I don't know whether that's because you're um, whether I just don't take to dye very well, um, but I'm not sure, but it's just not quite what I was expecting. Um, I learnt a few things through the process, which I thought I would share. Number one, um, the bleach kit. Don't use the little pot that comes with it. And the You get like a little black tray and it's just not big enough to mix the bleach together. You get like a powder and a liquid and then you mix them together and mix them up. Um, I ended up using a Tupperware, which I've thrown away because you're not allowed to keep any of the product because it... Um, some bad things happen like it's toxic or something <clears throat> so um, yeah so pour it into like a Tupperware and then throw the Tupperware away and um, don't use the little plastic thing the other thing um, that I sort of learnt be prepared for it to smell very strong the bleach in particular um, I have, um, in my bathroom I had to like leave and then come back because it was quite overwhelming um, so don't be alarmed that it's that um, strong so I just wanted, I mean this video is like three minutes long, it's probably going to be, I'm going to edit it probably around three minutes, three and a half minutes. I just wanted to share my experience with the Bleach London products on naturally blonde hair um, and that it didn't really work. Um, which I'm a bit sad about because I was really excited to have lilac hair but I just have boring old blonde. Um, so yeah, if, if you know of any tips or if you think I did something wrong then please let me know in the comments below because I would really like to be able to dye it um, but I've tried it quite a few times and this is the result um, this is the first time I bleached it first and I thought this will be it, I've cracked it but it didn't quite work so um, I hope you found this useful if you are um, naturally blonde if you do anyway go and do it then let me know what the results are for you because it would be great to see if it worked for you and that maybe it's just my hair because um, it's stroppy or something, I don't know um, thank you so much for watching. I will leave a link to my l previous video um, on the end screen. So if you've not seen that yet, then make sure you go and check that out. And I will see you on Sunday for another video where actually I'm going to be um, showing you how I overdraw my lips a little bit. Um, so don't forget to tune in for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it informative and I will see you soon. Bye.